as a little boy, uh, I love to play with, with trucks. And uh, I think that, that today I'm still that same, same boy. I'm just playing with bigger trucks now. The life I love is making music with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. I started with zero revenue, no, no customers, no nothing. Uh, from scratch, out of the house in a little corner of somebody else's warehouse. And uh, from 1986 to now, the year 2001, we've grown it from zero to revenues of uh, $30 million. Uwe Petroschke and his sister Iris left Germany when his parents decided to move to Canada. His parents gave up everything and arrived with only their clothes. They lived in a basement apartment with little furniture. It was a very lonely time for Uva and his sister. I didn't speak a word of English. Uh, I didn't even know, you know, the, the, what hello was. Um, so that, um, you know, uh, that made it additionally difficult. Um, then trying to go to school when you don't understand the language, um, you know, that, uh, and of course different culture. Uh, so it, it, it took a lot uh, of time to just integrate into the country. By the time Uva was 15, he was already in the trucking industry, working from 5 p.m. to 1 in the morning after putting in a full day at school. After he graduated from high school with honors, Uva had to make a choice between going to university, continuing to work in the trucking industry, or heading to Europe to play trumpet in a blues band. Uva chose trucking. After working and gaining knowledge in all aspects of the business, he decided to start his own company. In 1986, he bought a truck and established Total Line Transport. He did everything himself. It wasn't easy. Uva was a 27-year-old single father with a two-year-old son. He came with me on my cross-Canada trips. So, uh, you know, when I went, had meetings in Vancouver or Edmonton or Calgary, uh, he came with me. Uh, he actually uh, came with me to the meetings. He'd be sitting in the corner, um, you know, playing with, with some cars or something, or sitting at the table and actually listening. And now, Philip's younger brother, Michael, has the opportunity to have the same unique experience as his older brother. Today, Total Line operates out of their custom-built 120,000 square foot facility, providing warehousing and transportation services to Fortune 500 companies all across Canada. And last year, Uva launched a U.S. division, TLC Logistics. Total Line is known in the industry for pioneering many unique services. Uva's incredibly proactive when it comes to new market opportunities and his basic business philosophy is to listen very carefully to what our customers need and react to those needs and develop new services to meet those needs. So the image that the carrier portrays to our customer is the image of Dell itself. So we're very careful in terms of what that image is and we're very protective of it. In a nutshell, we choose our providers very, very carefully. Uh, when we have a critical shipment uh, to a major customer, the first car that comes to mind is always Total Line. Total Line is actively involved in the community and supports numerous charities such as Brampton Safe City, food banks and shelters, hockey and baseball leagues, and the Children's Wish Foundation. Uva's recently launched the Momentum Project, where he utilized his trucks as a colorful canvas with inspiring images instead of Total Line's logo. It wasn't about generating revenue, but in embracing how to turn uh, the highways into a, a more beautiful place that would stimulate people, that would bring color to the environment. In 1999, Total Line received the Brampton Outstanding Business Achievement Award. And in 2000, they were presented with the Ontario Chamber of Commerce Outstanding Business Achievement Award. Total Line Transport is an industry leader with outstanding standards and a reputation for innovation and social responsibility.